welcome back to ukraine today i've got a bit of a different video for you as we're not going on a fun sightseeing tour but we're about to visit the chernobyl exclusion zone this is the area around the site of the nuclear reactor disaster that happened in 1986. To get there, you need to join a tour. It is not possible to visit the site on your own, so that's what we're doing today. Starting here in Kiev, it will take us about two hours to get to the zone. The first stop we made on this visit after we went through passport control was an abandoned village about 30 kilometers away from the power plant. It wasn't destroyed by radiation or anything like that, but living here was just a great health risk for the people, so they had to move away. Nevertheless, many villagers came back after the evacuation and lived in this village again for years. And actually the last person who lived here, an old lady, only just died recently. Next up, it was time to get closer to the reactor. So I think now is a good time to tell you more about what happened here over 30 years ago. On April 25th, 1986, a series of mistakes by technicians caused the chain reaction in the core of the power plant to get out of control. Several explosions triggered a large fireball and blew off the heavy steel and concrete lid of the reactor. As a consequence, large amounts of radioactive material was released into the atmosphere where it was carried great distances by air currents. On April 27th, the 30,000 inhabitants of Pripyat, the town close by, began to be evacuated. cover-up was attempted, but on April 28th, Swedish monitoring stations reported abnormally high levels of wind-transported radioactivity and pressed for an explanation. The Soviet government then admitted that there had been an accident at Chernobyl and thus setting off an international outcry over the dangers posed by the radioactive emissions. Some sources state that two people were killed in the initial explosions, whereas others report that the figure was closer to 50. A dozen more contracted serious radiation sickness and some of these people later died. Seeing the abandoned town of Pripyat probably had the biggest impact on me. You could see that human life just stopped here and nature took back over. It's been a long definitely an unforgettable sight and an unforgettable day overall. I'm glad we made this trip and these are definitely memories that are gonna stick with us.